two, one, fire. If there's a question that we don't know the answer to, we will test it. Sequencer on, five, four, three, two, one. Now that the Perseverance rover has started to collect the first samples, that has kicked off the Mars Sample Return mission. The goal of Mars Sample Return is to pick up those samples from Mars and bring them back to Earth. This mission has many crucial components involving many NASA centers as well as international partners. The tests we're running right now are just the first step in making this mission possible. What this test bed is working to achieve is early prototype drop tests for the sample retrieval lander that's going to go pick up the rock samples on Mars. Three, two, one. After we've landed on Mars, the samples have been transferred into the, the Mars Ascent system. We take the rocket and we actually throw it up in the air before we light it off. It's an ambitious effort because we've never done this before. Sequence are armed. Three, two, one, fire. This test that we just did uh, goes a long way to showing um, that it's possible. That this is the correct path to go down to have a successful launch on Mars. Once the samples have left the surface of Mars, they will be captured by the Earth Return Orbiter where they will be safely contained so they can be brought back to Earth. This particular tower is designed to test out the, one of the last elements of Mars Sample Return, this impact landing on Earth. Three, two, one. We get to demonstrate how strong these hardware elements are to prove that these samples can be brought back safely, that we design a system that can stay contained and keep these Mars materials separate from the Earth's biosphere. We're still in the development phase right now, and so we're still using these tests as a, as a learning mechanism. We need to know the information to make sure that we can make a mission on another planet work. In order to accomplish goals such as bringing samples back from Mars, you have to sometimes dare mighty things.